Today, we're headed to the El Paso Zoo. I've always wanted to be a zookeeper. Travel with me as we head to the Chihuahua Desert Exhibit. Let's meet Miss Daniel. She introduced me to the zoo's jaguar. So this is our female jaguar. Look, her name is Luna. So these are all the toys for It her? is. So these are the toys that we keep for the jaguars and our cougars, our pumas. It's so interesting how zoos take care of their animals behind the scenes. I've always wondered how animals behave when no one's watching. Fun fact. Did you know that you have to put your feet in water so that when you go inside, you don't spread germs? What kind of training did you have to do? I went to Delaware Valley University, which is in Pennsylvania. I decided that I wanted to be a zookeeper to make sure that we were doing the best we could for the animals that are in our care. What's the hardest thing of being a zookeeper? You got to pick up the poop from your dog, right? Yeah. You got to do the same thing for our animals. One of the most important things is making sure that everything's nice and clean and safe for them. So it can be very hard work, but I think it's very rewarding. What do you want kids to know about the work done in zoos? It is very important to know that these animals are here for a reason and that we're taking the best care of them that we can so that hopefully one day animals like the ones here in zoos can live into the wild again. Now we're going to see the pronghorn exhibit. Did you know that zookeepers use peanuts to get the pronghorn to do what they ask? When we're trying to ask them to do something that they don't want to do is peanuts. Peanuts? Peanuts. They love peanuts. Miss Danielle feels really lucky working with the wolves because they're endangered, but also because they're a great pack. And they have really funny names. <laughs> Are you ready? Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, and Fang. How do you pick which ecosystem that they'll live in? So we try to make it as close to their natural habitat as possible. So these guys would live in the Chihuahuan Desert area. What do you do when the animals get sick? And so we have two veterinarians who are always here at the zoo. So they're here to make sure that any of the animals that get sick we can treat. So our vet is there to make sure that our animals stay nice and healthy. Today I learned that naming animals, playing with animals, and keeping them healthy is important, but most of all, I learned that zookeeping is fun and an interesting career. You're gonna hear me roar.